everyone, this is Shutterific, and I will start trying to see how can I get a better result for a simulation, especially for course simulation and of course from hair simulation, but this typical um, tutorial it's uh, for cloth simulation and maybe next one it's for the hair one. As you can already heard, my English is not uh, my first language, it's the second one. So let's jump into the tutorial. So I install, uh, I just download the character from uh, Da's website and some clothes. I don't want to show you this girl naked, so I just add the clothes. And of course, I was adding some animation. For this typical tutorial, I just use a normal animation. But as you can see, the clothing, it's not actually it's just moving as a mesh and no simulation so does studio have a, a force called the force for clothing and for hair and for any other simulation that you want to do so let's start with the beginning first of all you have to check your model before even to start so you have to be sure that it's no interaction between the clothes like soft as you can see here on the on the hand it's touching a bit so before starting even the simulation we have to be sure that we fix that so to fix that So we type arm and we use up and down left, up and down. So we will just make sure that the up and down, it's a little bit, okay, even the clothes, they interact together, it will be fine. So let's start the simulation now, we go to the simulation. We choose the simulation current frame. I want to choose the range. So use timeline, play range. And then of course, let's choose the best. We leave it like this for the moment. So let's try the simulation. It looks, it look very good, but you can see everything on the breast, shine behind, you have here, behind here, very good simulation. So the simulation looks well. It doesn't look realistic to be honest. Uh, actually, the simulation of the clothes look very realistic, but the body doesn't look. So we go to the hand, we type hand, and spring. And we go to the gas, and we choose the left to be like that kind of relaxing and the right will be like that so she will start with the hand like that and then we move a little bit back and we'll move a little bit back and then so you have at least 
perfect animating hand relaxing hands so okay let's try to play for the beginning it's coming like more realistic now because it doesn't matter if your dress simulation looks perfect if the body looks like shit the body movement you didn't do anything yeah so it will be something like like that So after you render, it will look like that. So as you can see, even behind here, the clothes simulation are good. The reflections are okay, but this is a different tutorial for lighting and for rendering. So. 10 minutes with shutter effect so i hope you enjoyed and you love it and make it So remember guys, the hand, the skin, it's called a rigid body. It will act like a rigid body, a rigid body in, with the force and the cloth like soft body. So to have the perfect simulation, you don't have to act because there's a rigid body in the hand movement, he will bring a different force. So when they will touch the dress, the dress will be all over the place. So you have to be careful uh, in the settings and uh, you can manage it. I mean, I don't believe in the problems. I believe only in solutions. So yeah, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I will continue drinking my coffee. Let me know guys if you need another one the next one it will be a hair simulation enjoy your day and have a good one